Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. And in this video tutorial we are going to knit, wow, super bulky, super warm hat that fits perfectly men, women and kids. So this hat has double brim and it is a ribbon so, so it makes the texture dense and it's so good for cold weather like really frosty frosty days if you try knitting this hat trust me you will say i want to knit one more moreover this hat is really easy to knit uh, you need to know only how to slip stitch how to knit stitch and how to purl stitch and for this hat i was using wool it's thick and quick yarn, it is super bulky yarn and for this hat you will need uh, less than half of this big skein. And the needle that I was using is 9mm needles, you can also use 10mm uh, needles if you are a tight knitter. For the knitting process you will need uh, stitch markers, so you can make it on your own or use um, uh, the plastic one and uh, basically that's it uh, maybe hook at the very end so let's get started for this hat I cast on 48 stitches and I cast on plus one stitch because I want to join and knit in rounds um, why 48 stitches? Um, the number of stitches has to be divisible by 4, but residue has to be an even number. For example, 48 by 4 equals 12, but 44 by 4 equals 11, that is an odd number, so you can cast on 40 stitches. 40 by 4 equals 10 or 48 uh, 48 by 4 equals 12 so at the end you have to get an even number so slip the very first stitch to the right hand needle then insert the needle into the last stitch and slip it over the first one and drop it off the needle pull tight the tail and the working yarn and then return the stitch to the left hand needle. Like this. So here you can place the stitch marker and start knitting. The first round uh, we are going to start from from the purl stitch, purl one, and slip the next stitch, holding working yarn in back, like this, and repeat. Purl one, slip the next stitch, holding yarn in back. Purl one, slip. Curl one, slip. Like this, repeat till the end of this round. Curl one, now push left hand needle. And then pull the right hand needle and go on. So we did a pearl stitch and now we slip the next one. And again pearl, slip, pearl, slip. Pearl, slip, S 
Leap. Go. Sleep. Go. Please finish this round and I will see you after. So the last stitch before the stitch marker, we slip it and then we start around number two. Curl one and knit one. And that's it. Curl one, knit one. Just repeat. Curl one, knit one. As you can see, I am doing the pearl stitch through the back loop. It's just a normal pearl stitch. Go on knitting in the way you usually curl. So pull. And again. Knit one, curl one. Knit one, curl one. Knit one, curl one. Knit one, curl one. Finish this round and then repeat first and second round uh, seven more times. So in the third round you are going to purl one and slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back and then in the fourth round knit uh, purl one knit one so knit uh, 14 more rounds until the piece reaches about nine centimeters here i am and welcome back so let's count how many rounds I've done. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it means I've done uh, in total 16 rounds. And the last round is uh, pearl 1, knit 1. Uh, let's measure. As I said, it has to be about 9 centimeters. Yes, it is 9 centimeters. And now we are going to turn the hat wrong side out. And from this point we are going to knit in opposite direction. And to start, remove for now the stitch marker. To start you need to make a yarn over like this. Because we are going to have hole when we are going to join this round and the next round. Now place a stitch marker and start knitting. Purl one and slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back. And again, purl one, slip. Purl one, slip. Curl one, slip. Curl one, slip. Curl one, and then finish, and I will see you before the yarn over stitch. Here I am at the end. I have one knit stitch that I am not going to slip, but I'm going to knit it together with a yarn over. So knit two together like this otherwise if we wouldn't do this we would have a big big hole here on the right side and now next two rounds we are going to repeat what we were doing before curl one slip the next stitch holding working yarn in back curl one slip and at the end we will not have already yarn over stitch you just slip the last stitch and go on with the third round please knit the stitch marker 
here I am at the end of the of this round and as I said you just slip the last stitch and slip the stitch marker and one more time we are going to repeat the, the same round twelve one slip the next stitch with yarn in in back and again twelve one slip twelve one slip Twelve one slip. Finish this round. So now, if you look uh, on the right side, this will be the right side. Uh, you have already the ridge that will help us to fold the brim. And all next uh, rounds, we are going to repeat the main pattern. So now the next. Uh, Around purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, and like this, please repeat till the end. Next round, purl one and slip the next stitch with the yarn. In back, purl one, slip the next stitch, purl one, slip, purl one, slip. Purl one, slip, purl one, slip. Finish this round and then repeat again. Uh, Pearl one knit one, pearl one knit one, and then again pearl one slip, pearl one slip, and knit until the head reaches at least 23 24 centimeters. Welcome, guys, back. So that's what I have now the brim and how the hat will look. So uh, now I'm going to measure it just to show you that I have 23 centimeters that's a little bit more 23 and half make it 24 or even 25 it depends on the size uh, you're working for and now what you have to do is to put place marking into the sixth stitch then count 12 stitches between them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and into the 12th stitch then again 12 stitches between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so always place marker into the knit stitch and 1, 2, 3 four five six and you have six stitches here so between uh, this and next stitch marker will be again 12 stitches if you cast on 40 stitches then uh, the number of stitches will be 10 between each stitch marker so let's start curl one and now knit one and yes, I forgot to tell you that last row has to be the row where you slip stitches. And now one stitch before the stitch marker, I turn it because I'm going to knit three together now. So I slip next two stitches as to knit, then knit the next one and slip first two over the third one so at the end you have to get this rod of um, slip stitches and knit stitches so visible and not twisted knit one purl one knit one purl one we go on like this knit until the next stitch marker and we'll repeat the same again uh, it may happen that you don't need to turn the purl stitch uh, so you just slip it, uh, slip next two stitches as to need. 
so I need to turn it so it look like um, the knit stitch then knit one and slip over like this if I do knit three together right away um, the final stitch will lean or to the right or to the left again depends on how your stitches are turned so again knit one purl one and stop one stitch before stitch marker so here it is the purl stitch turn it slip knit one so through the back loop for example if your stitch turned like this so you need to knit through the front loop but in my case i need it through the back loop and slip over like this finish this round uh, don't forget here knit three together and to the stitch marker the next round will be without uh, decreases Purl one, slip the next stitch holding yarn in back, purl one, and now you see you have three knit stitches. Uh, we cannot slip them all, so I need this one, the first one, slip the next one, and knit again the third one. Then go on, purl, slip, purl. Slip again, purl, slip, purl, and now again we see three knit stitches. So, knit the first one, slip the next one, knit the third one, and go on to the next stitch marker. Pearl slip, pearl slip, pearl, and three knit stitches. Knit one, slip knit one purl slip purl and finish this round round number three purl one knit one purl one now we are going to do the same with uh, these uh, three knit stitches slip two stitches as to knit then knit the next one already through the front loop because it's a knit stitch and slip over just two over the third one purl, purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one knit one Pearl one. Now you see again three knit stitches. Knit three together. Like this. And go on till the next stitch marker. Pearl one. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, again knit one, purl one, and knit three together. Slip, knit one, slip over, like this. 
need till the next stitch marker. Make knit three together here and till the end. Round number four without decreases, pearl slip, pearl slip. In this round, there will be no three knit stitches, so this is just a normal ribbing. Pearl slip, pearl slip, all the way around. Repeat till the stitch marker. Round number five, again decreases. Pearl one, knit one. So this is the same as we, what we were doing in the first round. So slip first two stitches. I forgot to turn, slip, knit one, and slip over. Repeat till the next stitch marker, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, then turn. And knit three together like this, and again knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Knit one and again here turn. Slip, knit one and slip over. Go on till this stitch marker. Knit three together here. Next round will be without decreases again with three knit stitches so where you knit one slip the next one and then again uh, knit the third one and uh, after that repeat decreases rounds with decreases and without decreases until you have uh, eight stitches on your needles Here I am, I've done all decreases and as you see I have 8 stitches. If you were doing everything correctly that's how the top should look and decreases. So cut the yarn and uh, take a hook or tapestry needle and let's thread the tail through remaining 8 stitches. Pull through and here is the same. Pull through four stitches. Okay, pull tight and that's how the crown looks. Now pull the tail to the wrong side. And let's weave in end. So what I am usually doing, I go just underneath, uh, pull the yarn underneath those eight stitches. Uh, two or three more times until I will be satisfied and sure that it will not unravel.
me just around. This one there. Okay, go on like this and then cut the yarn and uh, beginning tail. So we are going to weave in ends on the right side as we have folded brim. So we are going to do it on the right side, not on the wrong side. Here you can also use a tapestry needle, it will be even faster than using hook. Just underneath, underneath. Pull here, go on and then again cut the yarn. That's basically it. Let's remove stitch markers. Don't forget to wash and dry flat the head, it will look much, much better. And that's it. Super warm and thick, really. Best option for cold winters. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, Please write me, was it uh, easy for you or was it challenging for you? Because I'm thinking that uh, this hat is really beginner friendly hat and even beginners who knows how to knit in a round can do it. But please write me your opinion and of course write if you like this um, uh, model and how it fits. Thank you so much one more time, please subscribe and I hope to see you soon in my next video tutorials. Bye!